Well, hello. How are you doing this morning, everybody? Uh, this is not me Thursday morning. This is me Wednesday night. It's kind of late, but I had to get some things ready for you guys because today's kind of a big day, isn't it? We are moving out of Indy Creek and coming over to our new home. And I need you to do me a favor. Um, if you notice when you walked through the front door today, someone very important was missing. So if you happen to find Baxter, let me know because I want to make sure he gets over to the new building okay. Um, he disappeared last night. So I don't know where he's at right now. Um, so hopefully between now and when you guys come over here, we can find Baxter. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the normal stuff because today's not going to be a normal day. And I need you guys to be kind of my bucket fillers today. Remember how we talked about that? I've already talked to my sixth grade, but I'm talking to the whole school right now. I need you guys to really help me and the teachers out today uh, because this is new for us. And teachers and principals get really, really ner nervous when we do something different like this, but it's also really exciting. So when you guys come over here today, I want you to enjoy the moment, uh, but make sure you enjoy the moment so everyone else can enjoy the moment too. So we're not running around, we're not screaming, we're not yelling. We're letting people really enjoy this moment because I can tell you right now, you guys are going to be blown away. This place is amazing. And this is what I've been waiting for for almost two years to get you guys over here to see this building. So um, this morning around 9.30 or so, we're going to start loading up the buses. My sixth graders and kindergartners are going to come over. My sixth graders are going to greet everybody coming into the building today. So when you come in, give those sixth graders a high five. Go check out your classroom. Have a good time. Um, kind of set up your classrooms, put your supplies away. At 11 o'clock, we're going to have an assembly in our gym. We're going to do our PBS assembly. So Ms. Mihilik, Mr. Mosier, uh, Mrs. Lake, and Ms. Ponger can give away their specialist awards. We're going to do a quick game, a memory game, with our uh, PBS winners. And then I'm going to go over a couple things about the new building just to kind of be thinking about and let you guys go have lunch. My kindergartners and first graders are going to come into the cafeteria so I can try out my cafeteria. And then second through sixth grade, you'll just have lunch in the classrooms. Please, please, please be very careful with your food and drinks and don't spill and make a mess on the carpets. These are brand new carpets. And you, I'm going to say this a lot today and forever probably is you want to treat this place like it's your home because in a way this is your home. This is where we're going to spend a lot of time together. It's an amazing building and we want to take care of it and make sure it stays that way. Um, and then at dismissal today, that's going to be probably our toughest challenge because your parents don't know what everything's going on. And here's a little secret. I'm more worried about your parents than you are than the kids, okay? Parents can be a little, uh, uh, they can make things a little bit more difficult <laughs> in the parking lot um, if they don't follow the rules, but I'm pretty sure they'll do just fine. Um, but we'll start dismissing around 12, 15, you'll line up in your classrooms. And then we'll start heading out here to the front entrance. My walkers, you're gonna leave first. My bus riders and my JCPRD kiddos, you're going to go into the cafeteria and wait for the buses. Once my walkers get off and start heading up the sidewalk to 103rd and back home, then we'll start loading up all the cars. We'll have 12 safety patrol members helping you guys get in the car, so that's more people. And I need you guys, this is where I really need your help, is looking out, looking for your car. And once you see your car and it stopped, head to your car and get in really quickly because I want to see how fast we can get into our cars and get out of here. Mr. Frick is very competitive. And over at the old Brookwood at Indian Creek, we usually got everybody out of there in about seven minutes. I would really like to beat seven minutes or come close to it. So that really means that if everyone's doing what they're supposed to and getting in their cars, we should be able to get 12 cars out of here at a time and then keep bringing them in and get you guys out of here quickly and safely so you can enjoy your spring break. So that's what the day is going to look like uh, today. Um, don't need to go over lunch because everyone brought their own sack lunch. Or they got one from the cafeteria. Uh, there's not an A, B, C, or D day because there's no specials today. Uh, the only thing that's special about today is we get to come to our new building and hang out. So uh, I can't wait to see you guys over here. It's, it's going to be an awesome experience. You'll see some video cameras and people taking pictures of you guys. Um, and that's so that your parents and everyone else can kind of remember this moment because this is going to be a big day for you guys. You'll never forget it coming into this building. I know I won't. So uh, I will get off morning announcements. I will let you guys enjoy the last hour or so at Brookwood Indian Creek, and then I will see you guys over here this morning, tomorrow morning, whatever you want to call it, uh, here at the uh, new Brookwood. So, see you guys soon.